Fourth down and goal at the five-yard line. He's got three wide receivers to the right. Perez to throw. They're going to blitz. Throws. Dropped in the end zone by Coldwell incomplete. And the Aztecs have held on downs again. Run the ball. Run the clock. Move the chains. From their own five-yard line, we're going to get a penalty flag. They're going to block. Pittman stays in there as the lone back. They're going to run it. Pittman off the left side, darts across the 10, spins to the 15, all the way out to the 18-yard line. Pittman gets them the critical first down, running left, spinning out of tackles. Ohio and San Diego State, and the clock is running with 4.45 to go in the game. Three wide receivers left. Pittman is the back. Off play action. Lowry rolls to the right. Look. They'll run Pittman. Left side darts through the hole, crosses the 20. And Pittman gets hogtied as he gets it out to about the 23. And five. Pittman is in motion. Everybody in the pattern. Throws caught by Pittman. 25 out to the 28-yard line. Pit line. Lowry bootleg is going to run it himself. Runs to the 33-yard line and then gets tackled. Yardage check time for San Diego State coming in here without Marshall Falk, without Carson Liamidi, without Ramondo Stallings, with an ailing T.C. Wright. And other people step up, accept the challenge, and get it done. Second and six from the 33. They run Pittman straight ahead, cross the 35, all the way out to the 40-yard line. Very Pittman is the lone running back. Double tight ends. They're going to run Pittman right side, dances out to the 42, and gets tackled. Eight. Lowry is going to throw. Deep drop, throws incomplete. Trying to hit the tight end, Ray Rowe. Pretty good coverage that time offered. Seconds to go in the football game. The Aztecs on third downs are 12 of 18 tonight. The ball at the 42. Pittman is in motion. Are they going to throw to Rowe? Let's see. He's going to run the ball. Lowry to the 45, to the 50. Got the first down as he dives into the 49-yard line of Texas El Paso. The ball is in at the 49-yard line. The give right side. Here comes Pittman, 45, spins and dives down to the 41 of UTEP. And I don't believe can run the clock out. It'll be second down and 13, and they are letting the clock run with 40 seconds to go in the football game. Five seconds to go here in the game. Lowry, long count at the line of scrimmage. will let that clock run right down to the last tick. Takes the snap and kneels down again. And that is going to be it. San Diego State started this drive at their own five-yard line and marched from the five all the way out to the 41-yard line of Texas El Paso and in the process burned three and a half minutes off the clock. Big victory for San Diego State. The Aztecs tonight hold off the challenge. It is over here at the Sun Bowl. Final score, San Diego State beating Texas El Paso by the score of 28 to 21 here in the Sun Bowl. And more importantly, they keep pace with all the pace setters for first place in the Western Athletic Conference race. David Lowry without his top two running backs and then his third running back got nicked and was only used uh, part-time early. They managed to get him back into the game. Lowry was 19 of 35 for 288 yards. He is one of our players of the game. Let's get back down, Brad. Our Avis Star Offensive Player of the Game, the quarterback, David Lowry, and you end up getting 288 yards and a win on the road. That's what counts most is our win, and our team, whole team played their butts off. Our defense played a great game. I mean, it was just an all-around great game. Tell me about the youngster behind you all night long and Wayne Pittman. Oh, he, he's incredible. It's like Marshall. You, you hand off the ball to him, and you just like to watch him run. I mean, our offensive line was opening up holes, and wherever there was a seam, he was hitting it. A couple of touchdown passes. First, let's start with the one to Maxie. Oh, uh, they were man-pressed, and uh, the only thing I could do, no, the other routes would have been open, so I had to lay it up over the top to him, and it worked out good. And the one to Darnay? Uh, he just beat him. He just flat-out beat him. I threw it up there and let him run underneath it. How about you and your confidence level? Week by week, it seems to have grown. Yeah, I mean, last week was a hard week, and I uh, came through this week, and uh, everything felt good. I mean, we came out there and uh, did what we had to do. No mistakes, and uh, I think we did played well game. Good well, game. congratulations, and get ready for Utah next right, week. Thanks a lot. It's quarterback David Lowry, our Avis Star Offensive Player of the Game, our Texaco Star Defensive Player of the Game. Joining us right now, it's linebacker Lou Foster. And, Lou, you come to a tough place to play, and the yeah. defense comes up with some big efforts all night long and a nice victory. Yeah, it was. I, my hands down to you know, to you, Texas El Paso. They played a great game. Tell me about the different looks that you were seeing as the game went along and the adjustments that were made because the defense really made adjustments all night long. 
I mean, we pretty much practiced what they were going to do all week. It was just a matter of fact of uh, executing it. Yeah, uh, Terrell Steen also had a big night out there with you as well. And Terrell's one of those guys that really hasn't gotten a lot of ink this year. Uh, Terrell Steen played his, his butt off. I think him, Andy Coviello, and the whole Tower defense, we came up when we had to. Well, congratulations. Go enjoy it next week. It's Utah. Thank you. That is our Texaco Star Defensive Player of the Game, Lou Foster, here on the sideline. Lee, it's jubilant. Let's send it back up to you. Thanks, Brent. About the Aztecs of San Diego State, they spent the night playing in the Sun Bowl against Texas El Paso. And after winning 28-21, San Diego State still has legitimate hopes of playing in a real bowl game at season's end. Freshman Wayne Pittman subbing for the injured Marshall Falk and T.C. Wright rushed for 149 yards and two touchdowns last night. It was a second quarter touchdown pass from David Lowry to freshman Darnay Scott that gave the Aztecs a 21 to seven lead. But Lowry's third quarter touchdown pass to Larry Maxey was the game winner as San Diego State kept their hopes of winning a WAC championship alive with a 28 21 victory last night over the University of Texas at El Paso. David Lowry a big night through for 296 yards. Freshman Phenom, freshman running back Marshall Falk didn't make the trip with the Aztecs yesterday. He was just released from the hospital on Friday night where he was recovering from a collapsed lung and broken ribs he suffered in last week's game against New Mexico. And even though he wasn't with his teammates on the field, he was with them in spirit. Last week against New Mexico, Marshall Falk was hurt on this run in the second quarter. He ended up with two broken ribs and a collapsed lung. And he's calling it a season-ending injury. I'm thinking I have to miss the next game and I'll be back next week, but you know, it's, the, it's the rest of the season. And I'm like, ah, Lee. Falk has already rushed for 983 yards this season. When he was injured, he was just 17 yards short of setting an NCAA record for freshmen reaching 1,000 yards the quickest of anybody in history. Despite getting hurt, Falk says it won't change his style of running in the future. I try not to let it change my style because sometimes that, that effort to get you the extra yards you need to get the first down or probably <laughs> you tell from you from scoring or not. You know, that's just me. It's just the way I run. Watching the game last night on television with his friends was tough. Falk is a true competitor, and he desperately wants to be back out on the field with his teammates. Of course, adversity like this has a shocking way of forcing you to look at things from a different perspective. And that's exactly what getting hurt has done to Marshall Falk. When I started playing and when I was going through the season, I had a feeling as if, you know, I was going to have a great season and I went, ah, uh, no, nah, I ain't going to get hurt. And, you know, it kind of made me realize that, you know, you can get hurt too sometimes. You know, and I had, I had to think about it and just sit back and say, you can, you know, you can get hurt. It can happen to anybody. Now, again, as you heard, Marshall Fox said to us last night that he is out for the season. It came as somewhat of a surprise to Aztec officials in El Paso when I told him about his comments. In fact, the team doctor had said that Marshall Falk might be able to play in a couple of weeks if he could stand the pain. It's a decision up to the athlete, right, Kelly? It should be a decision up to the athlete. What normally happens in the past is that coaches and administrators put pressure on a player to come out and play. Not saying this is happening at San Diego State, but that's what's happened in the past. Hopefully Marshall Falk will stand firm, make a decision when he's ready to play. Let me ask you.